Note that the general term of the given series, let's denote it by UK, is equal to tan inverse 1 upon 2K square. Now consider the expression tan inverse 1 upon 2K minus 1 minus tan inverse 1 upon 2K plus 1. This is equal to tan inverse 1 upon 2k minus 1 minus 1 upon 2k plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 upon 2k minus 1 times 1 upon 2k plus 1. This is equal to tan inverse 2k plus 1 minus 2k minus 1 divided by 2k minus 1 times 2k plus 1 which is 4k square minus 1 divided by 2k minus 1 times 2k plus 1 plus 1 divided by 4k square minus 1. This simplifies to tan inverse 2 divided by 4k square minus 1 plus 1 which in turn is equal to tan inverse 1 upon 2k square. Notice that this is equal to uk assumed above. Therefore the general term uk can be written as tan inverse 1 upon 2k minus 1 minus tan inverse 1 upon 2k plus 1. Put k is equal to 1, the first term u1 can be written as tan inverse 1 minus tan inverse 1 upon 3. Similarly, put k is equal to 2, the second term u2 can be written as tan inverse 1 upon 3 minus tan inverse 1 upon 5. When k is equal to 3, u3 is equal to tan inverse 1 upon 5 minus tan inverse 1 upon 7 and so on and so forth. When k is equal to n minus 1, the n minus 1th term is equal to tan inverse 1 upon 2n minus 3 minus tan inverse 1 upon 2n minus 1. And finally, when k is equal to n, un is equal to tan inverse 1 upon 2n minus 1 minus tan inverse 1 upon 2n plus 1. Now we add up all of these equations. On the left hand side, we have the sum of the n terms of the series. Let's denote it by Sn. And on the right hand side, tan inverse 1 upon 3 in the first row cancels with tan inverse 1 upon 3 in the second row and so on and so forth till we are left with only two terms on the right hand side and therefore the value of Sn is equal to tan inverse 1 minus tan inverse 1 upon 2n plus 1 which is equal to pi upon 4 minus tan inverse 1 upon 2n plus 1 which is the required answer. Now to obtain the sum to infinity, we take the limit of Sn as n tends to infinity. This is equal to limit of pi upon 4 minus tan inverse 1 upon 2n plus 1 as n tends to infinity. which is equal to pi upon 4 minus limit n tending to infinity of tan inverse 1 upon 2n plus 1. Now as n tends to infinity, 1 upon 2n plus 1 tends to 0. And therefore, tan inverse 1 upon 2n plus 1 tends to 0 as well. 
Therefore, the sum to infinity is equal to pi upon 4, which is the required answer.